Okay, here's a little spiel about my feelings. Oh, that sounds gross. Yeah, totally skip forward a couple minutes if you don't want to know what's going on in my brain. But I regularly come up with missions and get really excited about them. Enjoy the packing process, the thinking, where I'm going to go, how it's all going to go down. I'm going to shoot the hugest stag, 14-pointer, like carry the head out. It's going to be sick. going to make some potatoes in the fire, whatnot. And then I get a little bit nervous the night before, like I've packed and then and then I head out, I'm like, okay, cool, this is awesome, like I'm, I'm doing something really cool, um, I'm, I'm all alone, it's going to be great. And then I get to the mission, I'm like, sweet, this is good, start walking, a little thing might happen that like kind of starts it off, but I get like, I get real tight in my chest, oh, talking about it kind of makes me freak out, but yeah, I get like, essentially I get like anxiety. Hey, my friend. 100 meter shot. That's not bad. I might do another couple just to feel a little bit more like relaxed. Cool, so my last two. Not perfect, that's for sure. Oh, sorry, Dad. You're going to have to edit the shit out of this. Pretty public track to start off with, so just got my rifle on the pack. Bit of a jerry setup, but go. Not in the hunt zone at all yet. I mean, like Dad always says, always in the hunt zone. But yeah, I'm just listening to a podcast. I, I love listening to the fan tales, but I also like listening to podcasts, and it's pretty cruisy. So probably go on like this for the first hour and then sling the gun around my shoulder take the headphones off should be good to go i reckon it's about a three hour walk six kilometers to the saddle going at about 3k per hour and then going up 800 meters so 800 minus zero divided by two it's 40 so that's 40 minutes that's the naismith's rule if you haven't heard it before um but yeah I've already lost the track. There's nothing more stressful than when I can't find the little orange triangle. I've got topo maps on my phone though, so I'm just gonna go up the hill. I haven't found the track yet. It's really hot, but my map keeps saying that I'm like this close. So, yeah. Just gonna boogie that way. Surely I'll hit the track. Potential bench track. Surely up there. I've only gone like a kilometre and a half in like an hour now. It's like 2.30. Um, and I like, I can't find the track. And it's super difficult, like, I'm finding it difficult navigating. There's a lot of trees down, so it's like not very fast terrain. It's about, yeah kilometre and a half per hour. Really like to have like a nice time at a campsite. Get there nice and early. Go for a hunt. But yeah, I keep zigzagging over the track apparently. That's what Topo Map says. So I'm gonna give it five more minutes of like zigzagging and then I'm gonna boost downhill. I'm gonna hit the creek, camp down there otherwise and just hang out. Just a little bit frustrating, but we got options. The river's just down there. I'm going to drop on in, walk up a little bit further. There's a spot, um, a clearing, and it'd be a good spot. Just boosting through here, I've seen so much deer sign. Like, I should have my gun out, but I'm not like, I'm not that savvy that I can. Plus, I'm kind of on the move, anyways. I'm not really hunting just yet. Whew. Cool. So, we made it to the creek. That's where I wanted to go, but seeing as I can't find the track 
we're here and we're gonna find a clearing up in here. Looks like pretty good campsite, if you ask me. A couple trees for the hammock. Maybe even just right there would be pretty good. You know when you hyperventilate and then it gets worse and that's just your body has too much oxygen so it's not actually an asthma attack, it's the opposite. So you should never give somebody um, ventolin if that's happening. I used to think I had asthma because of it but I would just get upset and then I'd start crying. Anyways, I'd be in the bush, for example, just before like a um, couple of hours ago losing the track and then like, shit, okay, now I'm freaking out. Like, that's a reason for me to be kind of like upset. Whereas on my last mission, I it was wet, it was rainy, like I couldn't find my old campsite, which it didn't matter really, but that like made me upset. And then there were like little contributing factors and little things that were like, ah oh, shit, like I just, I wish I had a good enough reason to come home. Like I could tell my flatmates, oh like, yeah, saw an animal, I shot all my bullets or like, I don't know, something, something that was smart, uh, which is silly because... I always leave these missions feeling so good and if I was out here with my friends like or even one other person like my sister I wouldn't have that at all <laughs> so I come up with little challenges for myself the first one was okay I don't have to make it to the top I can make it to here and I made it here which is good my next challenge for myself is that I'm going to set up my hammock and my fly I'm going to get a fire going and then I'm going to put some potatoes in the fire and I'm going to have dinner. By the time I've had dinner and if it starts to get dark or if I want to go home I can go home. But if my whole entire campsite set up by then I'm going to be like why would I go home? It's so nice here. I'm like two kilometers away from my car right now and I still feel like I'm in the butt fuck nowhere but hey Anyways, my hammock's not going to put up itself, fire's not going to start itself, and the deer aren't going to get scared away by themselves, so I should probably get cracking. Every day, in every way, I get by. Who would want to go home with a setup this good? It's not even going to rain tonight, I just put the fly up for fun. Well, now I've got my bungalow of dreams coming true all sorted behind me there I reckon I'm gonna make a fire listen to what I say every day my piles and size how good fires cranking I'm listening to an audiobook I'm currently listening to the alchemist it's four I've got about four hours on it so if I listen to the whole thing then it'll be 8 30 once it's done and I will go to sleep I don't know what kind of video dad's gonna be able to make out of this there's no storyline and doesn't really make sense. Oh, we could we could call this video "Getting Nowhere with Dayla." This is why I call it a short story because it's short and we don't get places.
bit of a random assortment, but we've got some broccoli, red onion, beef, and mushrooms. No venison, unfortunately. Buttery potatoes. So good. I got these potatoes out of the garden. Alright. No, that bit wasn't good. The skin doesn't taste good. The inside's really good though. These potatoes were so gross. I, I don't know why. It tasted like eh. Hopefully the kumara don't taste like that. Maybe it's just the potatoes. They've been in the ground for a long time. And then maybe they were green potatoes. Right. Surely. So much better. Whew. Yeah, those are good. Definitely some issues with the potatoes. A kumara is so yum. I wonder if these potatoes are bad too. A dud potato. This is good. Just had a couple hunters come past and they saw my fire and they're like, anyone down there? We had a quick yarn about what they're up to and what I'm up to. So we don't roar at each other. <laughs> hey you there. What are you up to? Get off my potatoes. Right? Wait, I said get off my potatoes. Oh, don't you, don't do don't do it. Oh, please, but I love potatoes. Fine, you can have some potato. Go get it. I was saying something before. I got interrupted. Um, oh, 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 kumara, kumara for the win. Oh, but what is this? I've never had a roast kumara before. Oh, 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 ow, ow, ouchie, roast chicken, Kentucky fried... So what I was saying is this couple other guys up here it makes me feel a lot better like knowing that a couple super cool dudes just came past and they hear anything raw they're gonna let me know and I can come hang out. That's a super good spot here and so at about 7.30 I'm gonna go up have a look at the creek. Yeah, what do you think about that Robbie? Hey, sound good? Yes, that sounds very good. Thank you. I will go back to my life now. Thanks. Goodbye. I think I can hear the faintest roar. It could be the hunters though. It's clearing. Let me spot something. The wind's changed, it's behind me now. It's changing quite a bit. The river will taint my smell. I see a log in the distance, and I'm not sure if it's a log, so I'll get a bit closer. So that's it for the evening. I'll have another look tomorrow morning. Um, I'm starting to feel a little bit more one with the nature right now. Super fun, just like looking up and down the riverbed hoping to see something like every footstep matters well i'm still here so i must have done something right do the mahi get the treats boom After some minor adjustments, the hammock feels pretty good. Super nice. The wind is coming towards us, so that's good.
nothing better than a good coffee. about to head out the bush now it's probably going to take like an hour and the first half an hour will be um, I can hunt that zone and then it becomes private land so eyes on my top of maps and I'm just going to carry my gun just in case highly unlikely it's midday but you never know hey guys I got 4% battery left on my phone so I'm just going to end this video now in case I never get to say goodbye and also, I made porridge and it's so good. Yeah, nah, this was a super nice trip. Like, everything I needed really. Definitely a bit of a roller coaster. Just, I don't know, just getting a bit lost and getting a bit scared. But then waking up this morning feeling amazing and super grateful to just be able to do this. Like, it's half an hour from my house. It's awesome. If you guys enjoyed, I'm enjoying it. I don't know what will come of this video or if dad will be able to even make a story out of it. It's all good. Still had a good time. And hopefully next time I get to show you guys some venison. Catch you later. Oh, and if you can't be good, obviously be careful. I never thought a flowery apple could still taste flowery inside porridge. Oh well, we've made it back. Back to the car, back to drop my rifle off at Jason's, left myself a tomato and some chips for the ride home. Thanks to Shelly and Jason for the awesome tomatoes. But yeah, that's, that's me. Every day, in every way, I get by.